Expected that. Please start the bow. So the second of these semi-finals here at the World University Games in the men's foil competition. It's uh, Choi Chunyin of China, 25 years old, world ranks 23. And he's on the right of your screen. And on the left, it's Chung Ka Long who is uh, 26 years old, he's world rank number seven. He was fifth in the world championships uh, just about a week ago before flying back from Milan uh, to China. And uh, yeah, won the Olympic Games in Tokyo. Olympic gold medalist. And when teammates fight each other, it can be uh, quite a subdued affair because they know each other so well. The advantage is that, you know, you defend each other all the time in training and practice. You know all of the moves of your opponent. Chung backed up the Olympic gold with a bronze medal in Cairo at the World Championships uh, last year. And the team took a bronze in Milan uh, in the team event. In fact, it was uh, men's foil. It was the first time that uh, it was an all-Asian final, Japan versus China, and, and Hong Kong getting the bronze over the USA. And that's crucial for Olympic qualification for, for Hong Kong, because if you look at... Uh, the the yeah, ranking it, the current ranking right now Japan's number one in the world USA number two Italy three France four and then it's China and then it's Hong Kong and I think Hong Kong would really want China to be in the top four or gain the top four because the top four go through automatically to the Olympic Games as a team and then it's the top team from the various different regions, from Asia, from Europe, Africa, and from uh, Pan America. As we watch these two, it's a really close affair. Four apiece. As I say, they know each other so well. It's a power pass there from Chung. Choi can be quite exciting to watch. In fact, both of these fences are quite flamboyant with their styles. Choi Chung Ying re represented uh, Hong Kong at the World University Games in Naples back in 2019. <laughs>
He's only 46 in Naples. Well, what exactly happened there? Because he went on a week later to the World Championships in Budapest and got seventh place. Well, Chung just building a slight lead now over Choi, and you would expect on paper Chung to come through and win this. Well, Choi was 16th at the World Championships in Milan. Well, Choi just asking for the uh, referee to go and have a look at that one. Referee Lu Chaiming from China. And score stands, so, well, the hit stands, and the score goes to 10 6. Well, we made it to 10 all in the first of the semi finals in the first period. And they're going at a similar kind of rate here. 50 seconds left on the clock. Choi's now got the right of way on the right of your screen, just edging ah, forward. Okay. A classic example there of the fencer with the right of way was able to finish but was off target. Ah, so if you're new to fencing, it doesn't matter that uh, Chung hit Choi on target from the left, it was still Choi's right of way okay. and he was able to finish his attack but he finished off target. Of course, if he hadn't hit at all, then it would have been Chung's point. So we're getting close to um, a match um, of a similar score to what we saw in the first of the semi-finals. 10-9 the score. So, so there was preparation called there on Choi. So he started his attack and then he pulled his hand back. And Chung was able to then pick up the right of way and take that last point before the break. And we go into the break, 11-9. Now there's no uh, coaching when teammates fence each other. So they will be able to have a quick drink of water. But they won't be able to chat to uh, and gain any kind of uh, technical support. So really tight, 11-9. You would expect Chung Kalong to go through and win this. But Choi Chun Yin is not out of the running yet. So the second period starts with a score at 11 9, and Chung Kalong. Scoring again to make it 12-9.
Choi edging forward, keeping his weapon down low to avoid the parry. Trying to beat the opponent's blade there. Well, found the opening there. Finding the right line for attack from Choi. Still only two points in it. And Choi has the line out. So he's defending with point and line. So extending his arm, keeping the uh, point of his weapon pointing at his opponent means that the attacking fencer has to beat the blade before landing the attack. Chun just a little flat-footed there. Chun needs to just up the intensity a bit. Take the fight to Choi. Well, Choi's asking for some spray on his hand. The magic spray, he's taking a bit of a blow to the back of the hand. No, he wants the doctor for the spray rather than his kit bag. And here comes the doctor now. And just took a whack and they're going to just spray him straight to the jacket. Choi trying to stamp his feet to create a movement from Chung. Chung not buying it. Video referee is Du of I Korea. Got well, while it was very frenetic in the first period, it slowed slid right down the scoring because each point now is vitally important. So attack missed there from Choi. The counter attack from Chun was on target. And the Olympic champion just a couple of points away from booking a place in the gold medal match. Chun with the attack from the left and he's now one point away from seeing this one through against Choi. Well, I thought that Chung would have landed that one but missed and the counter-attack from Choi Well, Chung was sure that uh, he had hit there. And so he's changing his weapon just in case. I don't think we're going to see a replay of that last point, but. It's still very tight. Target from Choi. Choi is attacking slowly off target.
Choi with the line out. Well, Choi knows he can't afford any mistakes here. And that was a slight mistake. Choi stepped into distance. Chung able to hit. And Chung Kalong, the Olympic champion, will go through to the gold medal match. And both of these uh, athletes will be hoping uh, to be the Olympic Games in Paris 2024. And they'll be back for the team event. But it is Choi that has to Ladies settle for the bronze the medal, and Chung Kaolong looking from very good, Hong Kong, China. and will advance through to the gold medal match. <laughs> and it will be a match-up between Chung and Loisel of France.